Good morning, I'm Evangelist Matthew Lee and welcome to today's edition of From Heaven at Seven. Family, the portion of scripture we're going to be reading from today comes from the book of Psalms, chapter 19, verses 1 to 4, from the New Living Translation, and it reads as follows. The heavens proclaim the glory of God. The skies display his craftsmanship. Day after day they continue to speak. Night after night they make him known. They speak without a sound or word. Their voice is never heard. Yet their message has gone throughout the earth and their words to all the world. Wow, family, isn't that just scripture just so true and so accurate that God's creation, everything we see around us in nature displays his craftsmanship. The sky, the sun, the moon, the stars, the earth, the flora, the fauna, the animals that scurry along the ground, the birds that fly in the air, the fish in the ocean, the mountains, all these beautiful, wonderful things that we see around us, family, do they not display God's craftsmanship? Is God not such a wonderful artist to be able to create all these things. I myself am an artist and I can just sometimes sit back and admire the beauty of God's creation. And I want to encourage you, if you haven't done that recently, stop what you're doing, take a moment and just admire God's beauty. Even in the hustle and bustle of life and the hustle and bustle of the big city, sometimes we just need to stop and take a moment and admire the beauty of God's creation so that we can go forward being encouraged by it, knowing that God is there, that he is with us, that he has provided these things for us, even amidst the busyness of the day. And yes, there might be people out there who've been corrupted by the forces of darkness and can sometimes make this world feel like a dark and gloomy place. But if we put that aside and just admire God's creation and admire the beauty of nature that he's put around us, it can help sometimes to give us a second wind just to push through those difficult times with the difficult people that we may be facing. And family, God created created all of this for our amazement, for our amusement, for our pleasure, all of these kinds of things. But he also created it, family, so that through it, we can marvel at his creation, so that through it, we will have something to worship him. Because that is one of the reasons that God created us at the end of the day, so that we would, out of free choice, not because we've been forced to, but that out of free choice, we would choose to worship him. And his beautiful creation around us should give us reason to praise and worship him, family. And there's another very valid reason why God God created the beautiful things that we see around us. And you can find that in the book of Romans chapter one, where it speaks about in the beginning or ever since the beginning of time, we can see God's invisible nature and his qualities through the beauty of his creation around us. And through that, we will know that there is a God. If we look around us, it's obvious that everything that we see, all the beautiful, wonderful things were made by God. It's it's physically impossible for something like the Big Bang to literally be the cause of everything that we see around us. Something as chaotic as an explosion to cause all of this? No, family. You know, I, I sometimes believe that people who believe in the Big Bang Theory actually have more faith than we do to believe in a God who could create all of this, family. And that that's just how it is at the end of the day. It's physically impossible that a Big Bang could have caused all of this. We can see God's invisible qualities in everything that we see around us. And that is why in Romans chapter 1, it tells us that atheists and the people who don't believe in a God that God creates all of this, they've got no excuse because there's so much around them that they should be able to see God's handiwork, his craftsmanship and everything around us, that there's no way that they should physically be able to deny the existence of God family. It's there. It's in our face each and every day. Sometimes we just choose to look past it, but if we look into it and we look for those invisible qualities of God, we will find it in the nature. Even those of us who don't believe in God or that God exists. I was there once. I was an atheist at one stage. I didn't believe that God existed, but look where I am today. And it's all to his glory because of that family. But I managed to find God in my chaos, in my weird thoughts and whatever led me to being an atheist, I managed to find God. And now whenever I look around, I can see it and I can believe and say there is no way that I could ever deny again that God does not exist, family. God's creation and beauty and nature and everything around us is just so beautiful and so wonderful, family. I want you to encourage you when you get a free moment to just stop and admire it. Take a break and admire it and just absorb the beauty of God's creation and praise him and worship him for it because that is what he wants, family. Thank you, family. I hope that this message has blessed you and encouraged you. And before I end, I'd just like to close in prayer. 
Father God, we come to you in Jesus' name. Lord, we thank you for this day, that this is the day that you've made and we can rejoice and be glad in it. Lord, we thank you for your wonderful, beautiful, marvelous creation that is around us, Lord. Nature and everything in it, Lord, that it displays your craftsmanship, Lord, that it displays your invisible qualities, Lord. And we pray, Lord, for each and every person listening, myself included, Lord, that in amidst the hustle and the bustle of everyday life, Lord, that we will be able to stop and take a moment and just admire the beauty of your creation and praise you and worship you for it. Lord, we thank you, Lord, that you show us your creation. You show yourself through your creation to us, Lord, and reassure us, Lord, that you are there, that you are with us, that you are all around us, Lord, and that you are going with us into the day and each and every day. And we give you alone all the praise, the glory, and the adoration for all that you're going to do and accomplish in us and through us. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Thanks for watching my video. I trust that the message blessed you and encouraged you. And if it did, I'd like to ask you to please hit the share button to spread this message and share it with your friends and family on social media so that they too may be blessed by this message. And before you leave, please give this video a thumbs up, drop a comment, let me know what you think about the contents of the video. And I'd like to invite you to please come back and join me for more episodes of From Heaven at 7, which premiere live every Monday to Friday at 7 a.m. Central African time on my Facebook page as well as my YouTube channel where the replays of the videos remain for those who are unable to watch the live premiere. If you watched this message today and were touched by this message and feel like you want to give your heart to the Lord and make the decision to accept Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, I would love to invite you to please click on the link in the description of this video that says salvation. And if you watched this message and felt blessed by it and feel led to sow a seed into the ministry, I'd like to encourage you to please click on the link in the description of this video that says giving. Alternatively, at the bottom of the screen right now is the ministry's banking details as well as our Snapscan QR code. And lastly, I would just like to ask you to please go and like and follow all my social media accounts if you haven't already to be kept up to date and in the loop with everything that's happening in the ministry and every time we upload a video just like this one. Thank you family. Enjoy the rest of your day and God bless. Yeah, 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 yeah.